Welcome back. Every year, Matt Teal and his parents go away to camp. Nothing unusual about that. Many other Australians do the same thing. But what is different is what they take away from that camp. A renewed sense of belief. Here's Edwina Bartholomew. Matt is 15 years old. He's in year 10 at school. He loves karate and nearly has his black belt. He's a typical teenager. He's also a burn survivor with one of the greatest smiles you'll ever see. Does it hurt to smile? No. No? No, not really. <laughs> that smile is the second thing you'll notice about Matt. He knows his skin will be the first. I grow, but my skin doesn't grow with me. So they have to release the skin because it pulls tighter and tighter as I grow. What do people say to your son when they see him on the street? We had some adults asking him to take his mask off and, you know, what's the Halloween mask you're wearing and um, just little children uh, calling him aliens, monster, and didn't want to go near him and ran away. With burns to 30% of his body, Matt may look different, but don't for one minute assume he's not as capable as the rest of us. I would rather someone actually ask me rather than um, assuming stuff, like assuming that I can't do anything or like stuff like that, because I can. This is a can-do kind of place. It's called Camp Phoenix. It was started by Susie O'Neill so burn survivors with very different stories could come together to be the same. Every camp that we come to there is an amazing story of survival and um, if it's not survival then when they come here the camp saved their lives. Before Matt's mum Lisa brought him here six years ago he found it almost too hard to face the world. Since he's come to the camp it's been um just a breath of fresh air I think for him because he looks around and says well I'm not the only one that looks like this. It's really good to hear um, other people's stories because you you are like wow that's, you've been through a lot and like you just it's unimaginable what like some people go through. To many it is Matt's story that is unimaginable. I was actually burnt in a car fire at the age of three and then flown to the Royal Children's Hospital. But I stayed there for three and a half months. There was um, a time when he had two cardiac arrests after he'd been there for a couple of weeks and the doctors came in and told us we had to go and say goodbye. So I went and said our goodbyes and didn't expect him to live after that and he did. He kept pushing through. You don't want to say goodbye to a three-year-old, um, but I just wished him all the best. Matt's family decided to keep him alive. We just wanted to wait, you know, what right do we have to make a decision like that? We didn't know. And just time just sorted it out. Would you change places with your son if you could? Definitely. You just always sit there and think, well, why can't it be me and not him? And I, th I think that's the hardest part when I see the pain and suffering he goes through from it all, whether it's from people staring or people being nasty or from operations. This 15-year-old stopped counting his operations when he reached 100. There's no time for looking back when life is waiting. What do you want to do when you finish school? No idea. <laughs> like any 15-year-old boy? Yep. Do you consider yourselves lucky? He's always laughing. He's the happiest kid um, that ever. And I think we're the luckiest parents yep. ever. We, you know, not many people get to, you know, go through situations like this and then go home and then be a, a family. His next milestone is in February when he'll finally get that black belt in karate. I think you're one of the happiest people I've ever met. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. My goodness. That was Edwina Bartholomew there. You can read more about Camp Phoenix on our website. What a fantastic... Good on you, Matt. Yeah. What a fantastic story. Thanks for being part of that. Wow. OK, coming up... I like the way your dad's hair has gone out in sympathy, too. <laughs> I think it's <laughs> beautiful. It. What a gorgeous family. <laughs> Made my day.